What's up, everybody? I'm going to show you how to create a stand store using Funnel Freedom. Now, if you've never heard of stand store, basically it's a software or an app that you can use to sell digital products on social media platforms like TikTok. Not only can you sell digital products, but you can also sell your mentoring program or you can sell your online courses. And as you can see, there are a lot of different people using this app. But the cool thing is I'm going to show you how to replace stand store using Funnel Freedom so that you have all of your tools all in one place now i want you to understand stand store is a great app but it is an app so you're limited to just devices that are linked to mobile devices and tablets funnel freedom is a software which means you have a lot more control over the behind the scenes and the workflows of your business so me showing you how to create a stand store using a software instead of an app inside of funnel freedom would give you a lot more capabilities and functions and access and control over your business using funnel freedom would make it easier for you to streamline the workflow of your business and it's going to make it easier for you to optimize your earning potential and also so by the way, if you watch at the end of this video, I'm going to give you some templates that you can use and upload into the software that you're using and create a stand store and even click funnels and even system.io. So stay with me. I got you. Now, if you've never heard of me, my name is Dad Learns Money. I'm an introvert who went from homeless to homeowner with high ticket affiliate marketing. And I've done multiple six and seven figures with my own online business, as well as promoting other multiple affiliate products and services. Now, my goal for this channel is to help you build an infinite passive income business and achieve financial and time freedom, especially if you hate your job exactly like I did. Now, Funnel Freedom is an all-in-one business solution. It's a place where you can have all of your funnels and all of your contacts. You can host all of your online courses. And in this case, you can even build and replicate a stand store. Basically, everything you can do in stand store, you can do in Funnel Freedom and more, and it's all in one place, and it can be automated and optimized a whole lot better and make your business so much more efficient and make you a lot more money let me show you how it works now right now on your screen we're inside my back office of funnelfreedom.io now if you want to get started with funnel freedom for absolutely free i'm going to leave a link down below this video that you can click test it out see how it works for you so you can get started and go through this video with me all right but before we start building our stand store the first things you want to do is create you a paypal account and or a Stripe account. These are gonna be the tools you're gonna to use to receive payments online. Now, I won't cover that in that video. It's pretty self-explanatory. When you go to paypal.com and stripe.com, just follow the prompts until your account is created. But when you're done, you wanna come back to Funnel Freedom, log in and click on payments. Now, once you click on payments, it's gonna bring you to this page and you'll notice some tabs at the top and I want you to click on integrations. When you click on integrations, this is the page where you integrate your Stripe and your PayPal. So all you have to do is click on connect with Stripe and then a window is going to open up like so and you're going to log in to your account and connect it. Once you connect your Stripe on the same page, just scroll down and you'll see PayPal. You put in your information and do the same thing for PayPal. It's super easy. Once you complete these steps, now you're ready to start collecting payments online. Once you're done, next what we're going to do is create an offer. That way we can sell digital products on this software. So you're going to go over to your left inside the gray menu and click on memberships. That's going to bring you to this page. From here, you're going to uh, hover over courses and you're going to click on products. Now, if you already have a course, this is where you can add it into the software right here. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to create an offer, which is a digital product. So what you would do is hover back over courses again and go to offers. Yeah, I've already jumped ahead. This is just a test offer for this video. So you would give it an offer title. I'm just going to put in test offer right here. And then the name of my product is tough product. It's just going to be free because I'm not actually going to be selling it. And then I just put zero zero. But of course, you would put your price there. And then I'm going to move myself out of the way and then you would just click create. All right, here it's going to lead you to a page where you can decorate and add in more of the details. You can give it a nickname. You can add a description. Um, you can also add an image for your product. Uh, double check the price. Make sure it's right for you. 
basically all the details you want to add in, you could do them on this page. I'm just going to leave it as is. This is just for educational purposes so that I can walk you through this tutorial. One thing I do want to show you though, over here to your top right, you see it says draft. What we want to do is switch this to published right here. So that way it's made public to all of your buyers. Once you hit publish, let's go up to the top right even further and click save. Once you do that, now your offer is ready to go and ready to sell. So I'm just going to go back to courses right here and go to offers and as you can see it's right there and it's published and it's ready to roll so now that we have an offer and a product in place now we can go and create the stand store inside of funnel freedom now to do that what we're going to want to do is go to sites over here to your left in the gray menu and then we're going to want to go to websites and the tabs up top from here we're going to go to new website and when this window opens up we're going to click on from templates and click continue now right here it's going to give you all the cool templates that you can use to build websites to build funnels for whatever niche you're in whether you're in beauty fashion creative financial health or wellness you're a holiday salesman or you sell insurance you do legal stuff you got tons of templates for all different categories as you can see for tire depot people tellers photography photography breweries brew pubs tour agency in-home health care and if you load more they just keep going on and on tons of great modern really clean and crisp templates that you can use to get started on your software but well, we're not going to use these particular type templates because we want to create a stamp store so we want it to look not like a website but kind of like how stamp store looks so what we're going to do we're going to go to the search bar on the top and we're going to put in link tree just like so and as you can see it gives you some link tree bio templates now link tree is just like stand store they kind of made the same way so we're going to use th these templates to create our stand store because all of the formatting is already set up but hold on there's actually way more templates than this i see i separated link tree i'm gonna bring it back together there we go now we have a lot more uh, templates to choose from. Even if we click load more, there's a lot of them to choose from right here in the software. So from here, you can pick anyone that you like. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick one that pops out at me for the tutorial of this video. We just use this one right here. I like the name growth marketing. <laughs> and when you click it, it's going to open up this window. And if it's what you want to use, you would just click continue. Right now it's adding the template, already building it out for us. So all we're going to have to do is just make those necessary changes. And as you can see, guys, this took just a few seconds. It's already set up. So we're going to start creating our stand store. Now, once inside, it's super easy to change whatever you want. You can change the background. You can change the colors. Of course, you can change the image and make it your, your own change this from growth marketing to whatever your name is or your business is you can change the buttons everything you can see is edible and changeable all right but let's say if i want to change my picture right here you see it says element name image over here so i would just scroll down and then this right here has an image link so i would just all i'll have to do is just upload that image to my media library and it would change so i'm going to do that right here you can also create an image using ai guys which is super cool so i'm going to change the image right here i already have some built in Us using the software all i have to do is just right click the image i want to use and click get link and now it's copied to my clipboard and then i'm going to go back to the software go back to this right here over in the right hand corner and paste that link and as you can see boom it changes that to my image a few other things i'm going to just change right here i'm going to change this to dad learns money that's my brand name right there and then you can put a little thing change this right here right there and of course here you will just put your name of your website or whatever links or whatever products you're trying to sell would go in this button right here so if you click this button it's going to open up another window here and that's where you would add all the information. You could change the text right here. This one says visit our website. So I could say get my free course right there. And then I could also put a link to some of my products right here. Now, the way you add your link to get people to go buy your products after they click the after they click the button is by creating a pop-up. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So the next thing we're going to do after we have this set up is create a pop-up. Now this is very simple. Just follow along with me and you'll knock this out the park. All right. So we're going to go up to the top and we're going to go into this icon that says pop-up settings. 
and then this is going to pop up and what you're going to do is click add a row all right so when this opens up we're just going to do one column and then here we're going to add an element so we're going to click add an element and what we're going to do is we're going to create an order form so you can go up here in the search bar and type in order form and the one we're going to choose for this stand store is going to be one step order form and basically what this is this is where people are going to go in when they click the button so they can buy your product so we're just going to make some slight changes like we don't need the address and everything because it's a digital product so in order to get rid of the shipping address because we don't necessarily need it over here on the right we're going to go to advanced and I'm going to move myself out the way and we're going to scroll down and you're going to scroll down to the part where it says toggle shipping. And right now it says show shipping. So we're going to click hide shipping. And as you can see, when I did that, it made that go away. So this is all we really need name, email address, phone number, the item and how much it costs. So this is already populated for them so they can put in their credit card so they can actually order our digital products. So this just looks a whole lot cleaner and it makes it real easy and simple and quickly quicker for them to sign up and purchase your products, all right? But one thing I want you to also do over here, we're gonna go back to general if you're still in advance. You're gonna scroll down to here to where it says button actions. And what you're going to do, you're going to make sure it says go to website URL. Now, what, what this means is when they click this button, after they purchase, it's going to redirect them to something like a thank you page. This, you always want to have a thank you page to let them know that the order is complete. Otherwise, when they click the button, nothing's going to happen and they're going to be confused and wonder if we received their order or whatever. All right. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to make sure that this actual pop up actually works. So what we're going to do, we're going to exit out of this pop up and get my free courses, the actual button that we use. So I'm just going to click that right here. And when you scroll down, you want to make sure that the button action says link to open pop-up you have all these different options but you want to make sure it says open pop-up and once we verify that we are absolutely all done like i said you can repeat these steps for whatever how many buttons that you may have but the final thing you want to do is go up to the top right hand corner and click on publish after that this window is going to pop up pop up and what you want to do is add it to a domain so whatever your domain is that you've chosen your your website.com um you want to add that in there i have a number of them right here but you will add yours or you can add and edit one down here now if you don't have one i leave a link below to where you can go and purchase your domain they're super cheap you can get some for as low as five to ten dollars for an entire year and once you click publish as you can see our scan store is up and ready to go i'm going to make a few changes right here what i'm going to do i'm going to click on these three dots go to settings and I just want to change this name. So we'll call it from Linktree to Growth Marketing. We'll just call it Stand Store. And I'm going to change that from Stand Store as well. And I just erase this right here. All right. So this is what I that, this is what I put right here. Stand Store offers that learns money. You can make it whatever you want. Click update page. And then once that's done, the next thing we have to do is add our product. So we're going to repeat this step again. Click on the three dots. But this time we're going to go to products. Now, if you follow all the steps up to previous that you added your stripe and you added your paypal here you and then you created the products like we did previously in this video you're going to see populated those products that you created right here because i didn't go through all of the processes in this video is nothing here but all you would do you would just select your product and select your offer and attach it to your stand store once you finish that step the next thing we're going to want to do is set up the automations so that when people click the button and they make the purchase they make sure we want to make sure they received everything they purchased so if you're selling a digital the product you want to make sure they get that email which has a link for them to download or whatever so in order to add the automations what you want to do is of course go to your left and click on automations and what we're going to do right now we're just going to create a brand new workflow so we're going to click that blue button up top and we're going to click on continue which means start from scratch which is the first big tab and then up top where it says add new trigger we're going to click on that and then the search bar put in order and you'll see these options pop up now the one you want to choose is order form submission and then over here we're going to click on add filters and filters we're going to go to in funnel website and then we're going to find the actual website we're doing which is the link tree one after you have that what you're going to want to do is click on save and then next we're going to add the action to the trigger so when they submit the form after purchase we're going to create this action which is going to send out the automation which is going to include the details for them to get access to the product 
All right, so this is very important. So what you're gonna wanna do is click the plus sign. I'm gonna move myself out the way. And in the search bar, type in MEM, which is short for Membership Grant Offer. That's what we're looking for. And we're gonna click that. And then we're gonna select the offer. And again, your test offer should pop up right here. Mine was a test offer, whatever your product or service was, you're gonna put that right there. And then over here in the bottom right, it says save action and we're gonna click that. All right, so that's set up and good. I'm gonna do one other thing though. Up here it says new workflow and has this crazy number. I'll never remember what that means. So I'm just gonna put stand store like so so that I know what this workflow does. After you've done this, everything is completely ready to roll. You have your link, you have your stand store set up with the buttons inside of it. You have your products and when they click the buttons, the automations will start, the pop-up will open where they can purchase and everything's ready to roll, you guys. And that's really, really it. And like I said, you could always come in and add more things to this to this stand store that you just created, add more products, add more services, add more workflows. You would just repeat these steps each time that you wanna add something new to your stand store. So now we're all finished up, you're gonna to go, to, go to the top right hand corner and click on save. And then in the top left hand corner, we're gonna click in back to workflows. And as you can see here, the stand store is ready to roll. On your end, you, when you publish it, it won't say draft. But if you miss that test, just click right here. It's going to take you back. You're going to click publish and then click save again. And then go back here. And then boom, now we're all ready to roll. And your stand store is ready for business. Now everything is ready to go, but we got to create one more workflow automation. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And then we'll be complete with everything. So the next automation to make sure you understand it, this is going to be the actual email they're going to receive. So we created the workflow automation that's going to send the trigger to send in the email. But now we have to create the actual email itself that they're going to receive to get actual access to your product or your course. So in in order to do that, what we're going to do is go up here to the top right, create workflow. And again, we're going to do create and start from scratch. While we're here, right fast, I'm just going to change this workflow so we know what it means. So I'm going to put stand store just so we can remember what it is. And then after that, we're going to click on add new trigger. Let me move myself out the way. And then we're going to type in the words grant. And we're going to do office access granted. And then we're going to click on add filters. And then we're going to click on offer. And then go to the menu. We're going to select our offer that we created. And then this is going to give them access to it. And then on the bottom over here, you're going to click save triggers. All right. So now that's set up, we're going to click on add that trigger right here. And then at the top in the search bar, we're going to put in email because we're sending an email. So an email and then from here what we're going to do what we're going to do is just create the email so you can put your name right here if you already have it saved or you could just type it in and what email you're going to be using you can put that email here and then the subject we we'll just put your product but you will put the product name and you can also do that here they also have templates so if you want to use some of the templates or if you created some templates yourself, you could just use those for quick access. And then here, this is the actual body of the email. So you could just put and a quick thing that you could do. So what you could do, you could go to custom values and you can put contact and you can put their first name, which is going to be manually keyed in for you with this code right here based off the information they gave you when they made their purchase to membership contact to offer title and it's going to pop up as the actual product they'll be able to see what it is that we bought on their end of the email from us using this uh code and then i went on ahead i got here is how you get access to your purchase and then click here go to custom values and what we're going to do is membership contact and then go to login URL. And now it has the actual sign up place for the course that we created, which is my product. Then, of course, make sure you end with a nice salutation. I got hope you love it. My name, Ronnie, a.k.a. Dad oh, Loves Money. And then from there, we're absolutely done. We're just going to do this last step. That last step is going to be save right here. And then we're also going to click save up top up here. And we're good. And now we're going to publish this and click save again. And we are wrapped up, you guys. So now let's check things out. Top left-hand corner, go to back to workflows. And now we see everything is published right here. They have the welcome email in the workflow. Now when they make the purchase, the emails are going to go out. All the automation is going to work. They're going to receive the product or the login information to the course whatever it is that you created and 
that's it. Now, I hope this video gave you tons of value on how to create a stand story using Funnel Freedom. Now, if you want access to Funnel Freedom and get your free trial using this software, of course, I'm going to leave that link down below this video. Click it and you can get started and try it out with full access for two days. I'm sorry, for two weeks, which is 14 days. Now, I do want you to understand not only can you create a stand store using Funnel Freedom, but you can also promote multiple different affiliate products using the same software. If you want to learn more, of course, I got out tons of videos explaining more in depth about the funnel freedom software so you can check those out also down below the video that's it guys for now as always i appreciate you staying to the end stay blessed and i'll see you on the other side of success we out